8.9 moisture corn that's going into the dryer right now. It's coming out 15.1% moisture, which is where we want it for when we're storing it in these grain bins here. Now, I don't know a lot about this dryer, and I don't know a lot about running it. My dad runs it, and my brother's getting pretty good at it, and I'm pretty sure my cousin John's getting good at it, too. So, like I say, I work out in the fields. I don't do a lot with the dryer here, but I just wanted to come in and show you a little bit of what was going on and how wet the corn still is that we have. See the dryer, all this stuff laying here on the ground. It's red, red dust and there's some grindings from the combine and such underneath the dryer. A lot of that stuff gets stuck on the side of the dryer here and there's a lot of air that has to come out of those holes and a lot of moisture when it's plugged up like that we don't know if it makes a difference or not but daddy's been scraping the stuff off the edge of the dryer hey he started working over here but then i saw he was at home when i came over here right now the corn's going to this bin right here this is a 20,000 bushel bin and 36 foot diameter as soon as the wet bin gets empty which is this hopper bottom bin that we dump all of our wet corn into. We're going to start going over here to this this bin right here. This is a uh, 11,000 bushel bin. It's a 24 foot bin diameter. And we're going to put what we sell today is going to go in that bin right there. It's good to split things up a little bit because this corn coming out of the bottom of the dryer is hot. And we need to get it cooled down as quick as we can. So put some in the one bin and we'll put some in this bin and we'll alternate back and forth. I don't think we'll have enough corn to use the third bin, but we're going to go ahead and just use two bins for right now. Alright, here we are out in the field. Got a rider with me today. Got Ivan with me today. Ivan's mom and dad and Corky and I are pretty good friends and Ivan, he watches my videos and he was commenting one day he wanted to come ride. So today's the day. I don't know how much riding we're going to get done because we are having some problems with the combine. So we'll just have to see how things go. Um, plus the uh, corn's still very wet and the uh, dry, it's going through the dryer really slow right now. But yep, Ivan, he's riding. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Ivan, he's been riding here in a tractor with me now for, I think we've loaded three semi loads. Yeah, two and a half. So, and we've been talking, and it's the most I've ever really sat and hang out with Ivan, and I've had a real good time. But uh, we've been talking about YouTube. Huh? Farm Science Review, we talked a lot. Oh, that's right, we did. We met up to Farm Science Review, too. Of course, we couldn't go this year because of COVID. Oh, COVID. COVID. Look at that hat he's wearing. Welker Farms. Anyone know where I can get a Welker Farm hat? Yeah. You do? Yeah, Welkers. Do they sell them? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll get a hold of them and see if I can get me a hat. Who else do you watch on YouTube, Ivan? Old Squad, Spencer TV. Uh, Millennial Farmer, Larson Farms, Lara Farms, Dirt Perfect. Sounds like you hang out a lot on YouTube, watch YouTube a lot. Yeah. You forgot to say Harmless Farmer. Oh yeah, I watch you too. You do? Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> What'd you bring in your lunch today? Uh, got cheese it. I got some fruit roll-ups. Um, some fruit snacks. I got a turkey sandwich and chips ahoy and some Pringles. Looks like you've about eaten it all. Yeah, how much? I have to finish the cheese it and Pringles. He even uh, offered me a cookie. I didn't eat it because I knew he was a growing boy and he needed it. He also got me sweet tea. Yep, sweet tea. I have one of them here somewhere. Yep. Cheapest place to get it. Yeah. Thomans. But no, we've loaded two and a half semi loads. Got a third one. 
Uh, we're halfway into the three and a half now, so. Rows are starting to get a little shorter and it's gonna start taking a little bit longer here. We're just about finished with this field. Depending on what's going on, I don't know for sure how much more we can do, but uh, Dad took the fourth load and he's gonna dump it in the bin, I do believe, if it'll fit. It might not fit because this corn's pretty wet as you saw this morning when I showed you. But yeah, we're just hanging out here in the tractor watching the combine go back and forth. That's our job, isn't it? He brought the, what do you call that thing? Kubota. Yeah, Kubota. The RVT, the one you guys RT. saw that we pulled in the uh, RVT, RTV. What RTV. Is it? RTV. The one where we. Uh, did tug of war. Yeah, did the tug of war and did the Labor Day Fest. Yeah, we won. Yeah. Brag, brag, brag. All right. I think that bearing's causing all your issues. I think just the vibration from it is causing vibration all the way up there. And... Yep. That'd be a good one. And then I'd say, Dad, you see that little video you need to put on there? Thanks, Evan. Yep. Thank you. All right, well, you heard him, guys. He said it's that carrier bearing, so. They're going to order one and bring it out and get it on and get us going again. I think we're going to keep on running it. Uh, probably tomorrow we'll run some. Tomorrow, maybe, but we'll just have to see. Field here that we're in right now. I showed this field from with the drone when we were planting it. This field's very uneven. Now the reason this is a rough field is because this used to be an old pasture. Now back in 2000 and 2002 or 2003, I cleared this pasture here. There was 50 or 60 oak trees out in here that we cleared. Cleared them off so we could farm this. And it's a little bit rough. We have to be careful when we're harvesting. But it's a good dirt. It takes a little bit of getting used to to farm this ground right here. There's a lot of uneven spots. Now, the re some of the spots that are uneven are because of the uh, where we've taken trees out, uh, places that water used to run, uh, places where we used to feed cattle out in here and all that. I mean, just a lot of uneven spots. But... Uh, Slowly but surely, we are working on them. This has never been torn up. We did, I think the first year we farmed this was 03, and we've never torn this up. Now, we've had spots that we've tore up in it, but we've never torn this field up. So it's pretty much the way it was when, when it was still a pasture. Pretty rough. Next year, we're gonna have soybeans in this field, and then we're gonna work it, and then I'm gonna bring a grader out in here and we're going to grade a lot of these uh, holes shut where there used to be trees and where there was washouts over the years and all that kind of stuff. But uh, oh, just like right here where we're getting ready to go through right here, pretty rough right through there. Just holes and stuff like that. This is, however, though, a very good field. The majority of it's bottom ground and we do. We have runs run. We have rows running north and south. We have rows running east and west. You can kind of pull your hair out when you're down in this field here. Okay. Just kind of the way it is. You know, where do you find another 40 or 50 acres though? Basically for free. You know, we were getting a thousand dollars a year off this ground when we graze cattle out here, and I'm making quite a bit more than that now on it.
Alright guys, I got a special guest with me today. Hi. Mom's riding with me. Hey there. She had, she was in here night before last along with Dad. There was three of us in here again. So, But now it's just her in here with me. We're riding to the back back here to get some corn. She was standing up here at the end of the field and I started honking at her. And of course, they were happy to see Kylie because her and Dad were both having trouble with their phones. And Kylie usually helps them figure their phones out. So. She's the fixer, that's for sure. Well, she fixes my phone too. So. But we're heading back here to get another load of corn. It really is pretty over here. I didn't never realize how pretty it is. Yeah, uh, Kylie had the drone over here too, flying around. Oh, she? Used up two batteries over here. Oh my god. So far. Yeah. because the auger will go down into the into the grain card. It'll shear a bolt. Or if it goes down and hits one of my bows in my uh, grain card, it'll bend it down. In some of the drone footage, you can see we have a couple bows that are bent on the grain card. And that's from this field, the combine auger going down and hitting them. Jeez, we're real close right now. the last few rounds that we have here. 